I'm James Williams with Discovery News. I have never ever dug for dinosaurs before, but Brian Basiak, the crew chief for the Super Duck Quarry in Rudyard, Montana, is gonna show me how. Rather than you know hammering and chiseling away, we just go with the natural cracks and break little bits of dirt off. When, when people start out doing this, do they constantly ask you if they've found something? What are those little dots on there? What's that? Is that a bone? Yep, that's what we want them to do. We'd much rather have them ask us 20 times the first day if it's bone than to just go right through a bone and not know it. Usually, if there's any bone in there, the rock will just kind of pop right off the bone and not damage it. Kind of like chicken. Sure. That's a little bit of plant remains, yeah. Probably part from a leaf. From 75 million years ago? Yeah. That kind of, really? That's really, 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 really addictive. Because uh, it comes You haven't even found any bone yet. I know. Yeah, I can't imagine what this would be like if I was actually finding something. You told me that there's, you found bones on that side and bones on this side, so you know that there's probably bones in this one here. It's just, I just haven't hit it yet. You're hey, welcome to keep working. We won't stop you. <laughs> I have to do video. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for 40 minutes. It doesn't feel like 40 minutes. Really, time does fly because, you know, behind every rock could be more bones, so you got to keep on watching. All right, so now I've got this huge big pile, and I need to go... I need to clean it all up. <laughs> so thank you for uh, showing me how to dig. Thank you for digging. Next time I'll find something. I can feel it. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.